was a time not long ago when baseball was more art than business. When fans and players came together for the sheer joy of it. This forgotten bond is getting new life. New England's baseball heroes are back. They're called the Gray Sox. The Nashua Telegraph asked, can a group of 40-something former major leaguers hold their own against a group of 20-something ex-somethings? And would anyone care enough to pay $10 a pop to watch? The answer to both questions, somewhat incredibly, is an emphatic yes. I read Kinsella's works, Field of Dreams. I said, these, these parks exist, these fans exist. Uh, bring, the, bring the game back to the fans, and that's what Barnstorming's all about. The spaceman has landed, and this time he brought his friends. The New England Gray Sox spent a week barnstorming the region, bringing their love of baseball and a roster full of memories along for the ride. And we're gonna go out here and, and raise some money for charities, and uh, Bill Lee has decided the five-game uh, barnstorming uh, season is gonna, gonna be it this year and then possibly maybe a little longer next year. But other than that, uh, I still enjoy the game, I'll go out and play it, and I, I only knew one way to play, and that's be competitive. Now, don't get the impression that the Gray Sox are a gang of old timers. They may be past their prime, but pity the opponents who take them too lightly. These guys are baseball players. They will, uh, they will surprise a lot of fans, and they're playing against young, muscled, quick, scary looking young guys you know and uh it's we're the george foremans of uh, baseball who else would play with me have to be characters i know we got on the bus and they saw this they go you put these guys together i go yeah there's some stabling influences the sten house you know from uh, from harvard and billy allman from brown i went to usc and the other guys are from the university of mars so we got a we, we got it all covered this guys and they're saying awesome unbelievable incredible they, they can't believe that they're playing with these guys. They got to associate with them at the beginning, talk to them, exchange stories, autographs, and the guys are more than happy and, uh, to do that, and it's very exciting. Exciting for the players, exciting for the fans. Barnstorming is back in New England, and if this year's tour is any indication, it is back to stay. A new baseball team is making the rounds in Massachusetts these days. The team is called the Gray Sox. Old pros just can't get enough of the game. New Center Anthony Everett reports you might even call them the impossible dream team. William Francis leads the third to face <laughs> Do not adjust your sets or your memory banks. That is indeed the spaceman Bill Lee, who has come up with a very down-to-earth idea. After the Florida Senior League ended, you know, we had all these ball players all wound up, no place to go. We had all these fields that are looking good. No one was using them, and so we decided to put on games for the fans. And so was formed the Gray Sox, a collection of former phenoms on a barnstorming baseball tour through Ooh, New England. A ball player never knows when to quit, so uh, there's no pressure here, so it's, it's nice and easy to go out there. If you give up runs, no big deal. <laughs> no longer the boys of summer, perhaps they are the men of middle age. Even their five-game schedule over eight days can take its toll. Hitting the ball is okay, but the thing is, is running. Running the bases seem like they're moving the bases back these years. But George Foster is still the last National Leaguer to hit more than 50 homers in a season. And these guys are still a hit with the fans. In their fledgling second season, they are packing the parks. A fact not lost on even presidential politics. Bill Clinton's brother, Roger, sang the National Anthem tonight. And the home of the free. But even though Clinton may have the number, only a chosen few can really wear the uniform. The guys that continue to, to participate in these things still have a passion for the game. That's the bottom line. A passion for the game and for something often lost when they were in the majors, a connection to the fans. I like them because they're playing and we're watching, so we're both having fun. And isn't that what baseball is supposed to be about on a cool summer night in a tiny little ballpark just down the street? In Lynn, Anthony Everett, New Center 5 Tonight.
What a great thing. I'd pay to see those. Yeah, Me they're going to play, I think, in uh, in Burlington, Vermont. It's one of their next stops. Well, well unable to make that <laughs> <laughs> Dalton Jones stops at second base, and the Gray Sox have their first two runners on. Did he look 45 on that swing? No. He could use another Red Sox right now. The New England Gray Sox. It's baseball the way it used to be.